Hey everybody, before I start, I am going to tell you something. I'm, this is, I'm adding this in beforehand, so there's going to be a little fade in after this. Um, I have put on PD, two PDFs. I've put on uh, Fred is Dead, which I have not released yet, but I've got most of it recorded. I don't know why the screen's flashing the way it is. And Premonition. So if you want to download the music scores for those, they are on my website. It is down below. I will put it right here as well. Um, and I'm also going to put them on Muse Score. You can look for them, look for me on there. I will put my user title name there as well. So you can see if you can follow me on there. If you have Muse Score, if you don't have Muse Score, I suggest using it. I like it. I'm not getting paid to say this. I like it. I bought it. Well, I bought a year subscription, and that's rare for me to do. I usually buy outright, and that's it. So uh, I suggest trying it. So let's get to the video. Hey everybody, so today I'm going to tell you a little story that, uh, that actually happened. Um, I was, I was in, I, I work in a, I don't want to say where I work, but I, I do, I work in a downtown core of a city, I put that in quotes because when you look at the United States, what they consider cities, um, it's probably, probably 10th largest city in Canada, maybe 15th 20th I don't know either way so I was down there it's not a famous city either um, I was I was working and we have a local Tim Hortons now the one thing about this the downtown core is there's a lot of musicians and musicians they tend to if they're if they're good they you tend to watch see them for a little bit and then they disappear I don't know where they go I think they probably go somewhere better somewhere bigger and better um, and so there are these two musicians, male and female. Uh, I'm not sure if they're dating or not. I have no clue. They might be now. I have, like I said, I don't know. Um, they've been at this for a long time. I've now worked at this place for four years, and they are, and I think since I started there, I've seen her around a lot. She, she comes to the market. She plays outside the market. And the other guy, I've seen him once in a while. Not as much as her, but I've seen him once in a while. Usually when I see him, they're together and they're playing. And so that's, that's where that's going here. Um, and so they were in the Tim Hortons and I was in line. And they were complaining, talking and complaining about the fact that they're not getting anywhere in the music industry. And I was like, yeah, you're in... A nowhere town or city town whatever um, yeah you're not gonna get anywhere you're I you know he has a YouTube channel I know that because he he had mentioned it one time to her saying oh, I put my videos on YouTube and so they're sitting there and they're complaining and suddenly he stops and says it's society's fault and then she just agreed right away and I was like Wow talk about just dropping it like yeah it's society's fault that you are not getting anywhere um now this this brought this actually brought me up to uh when i was in college i i uh i was going in for uh software development which is what i do now on top of this like that's my regular job and the guy I worked with, or not worked with, but went to school with, he, um, he, uh, he, well, he had, he would have the delusion that women wanted him just because they looked at him. You looked at him and you, <laughs> you were interested. And I, I've never seen that before in my life. And when I saw that, I was like, whoa. So, and I told him, I said, are you sure? And he says, he says, there's nothing wrong with being confident. I'm like, okay, that's fine. So now, um, he, I, I, I wrote a bulletin board on the Commodore 64. This is years ago. 100% um, machine language, and I actually had documentation on how to how to make what what you would now call a plugin for the bulletin board. Oh, my light just went out. I came back. Nope. All right, dead. So had a plug-in for the bulletin board. And so 
And so he wrote a game for it. I don't remember the game. I don't think it was that great. Um, and he he got annoyed that nobody was giving him accolades for the game. And it's like, okay, is that why you did it? You know, and so I, I, I kind of put the two, the two together here. And it's just, this is my little my little rant on things um you know it's like it's like if you're doing it for fame and fortune you might not get it so you're just setting yourself up for disappointment if you're doing it because you enjoy doing it such as me i love i love recording i love making these videos i have a great time doing it um you know, it's it's different. I know I'm not going to I'm not going to be the next YouTube sensation, even though I joke about it all the time. Um, I know that you know this that I'm not going to make millions of dollars off my music. I I've accepted that. I do it because I enjoy it. I like to do it. I like to see people enjoy it. If I'm helping people, then that's even better. That's that's all part of this. But, so the thing is, I just, I want to get this off my chest. I had to. It was just insane. You know, I've never heard anybody say that it's society's fault that I am not famous. Um, no, it's not. It's, it's, it's you. Maybe, maybe you should, um, I don't know, talk to somebody about it besides another musician who thinks you're great. Talk to somebody who, uh who, um, you know, who's gotten a little further than you. That's always, that's always a help as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, have some fun with it. Like try to, try to get involved with somebody else. Try to find somebody who has a little more, you know, fan base than you do and see if you can latch onto that a bit. And who knows? I don't know. Um, yeah, I just, I just had to bring this up because this was, it was the craziest thing that I've ever seen. And... Yeah, there's there's a I, I don't know there's there's a lot of dis disillusion out there about how things work. I remember one guy in in the same Tim Hortons saying to another guy, you know, you need to release, you need to start releasing music, and you're going to make millions. And of course, I had just released my second CD. I was in a bad mood that day, anyways, and I just went, no, no, you're not. And the guy was like, oh, don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And I just flipped out and went really I have two CDs I have finished two CDs I have recorded two CDs I think I have an idea of what I'm talking about and yeah that was <laughs> yeah that was a fun day too um so that that's it for this week uh sorry there's no no recording stuff this week um I've just been I had to work on a ton of songs and I have just been I have been so busy with uh, Halloween coming up and everything else and being asked to do stuff. Uh, I'm hoping to have a special guest in the studio at some point to record. She has a nice voice and I think it'll be fun to, to work with her as well. And she wants to record some songs. I'm going to see if she's willing to do it on live or whatever or, or let me, uh, let me re record it. And yeah, um, that's all I got this week. Talk to you later. Bye. Others are so crazy.